Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech Motoring. On today's episode we're going to be checking the battery degradation on my 2017 Fiat 500e. We just picked this car up a couple of months ago and we're going to take a look today at the battery degradation and what it claims in the BMS of the computer to see how well this battery is held up after about 23,000 miles and about seven years of life. So let's dive in, let's go through the process of how to do this and let's see what the numbers come out to be. Make sure you stay tuned, subscribe, we'll be right back. All right, everybody, welcome back. So we have our 2017 Fiat 500e. Now, this is a fantastic car. We just picked this up in May of 24. And uh, so this car is about seven years old now. And uh, it's got about 23,000 miles on it. So really not many miles for a car that's that age. And uh, I picked this up at a pretty good price. Love the car. Drive around all, all the time. It's a fantastic around town vehicle. And uh, we're looking to do today is to basically check battery degradation using a specific app on my phone, which is called Alpha OBD. And that app will allow us to basically OBD into the car through the OBD2 port, check some battery statistics on the vehicle, and kind of get an idea of exactly the shape that the battery is in. So right now the car is down to about 55%, and we're going to check the battery degradation of what it claims now. We're gonna check the cell voltages of the vehicle and see exactly how those are sitting as well. Kind of get a general idea of, you know, what the battery looks like. We're gonna see if there's anything on it that shows any, you know, cell voltage differences, uh, variations between the different uh, cells. See if there's anything that looks like it could be, you know, bad, detrimental to the battery, or does everything look pretty healthy? Do all our vo do all of our voltages uh, actually look pretty close to each other, which is what we really want to see. And we'll see what the actually uh, actual state of health is of the battery. It does give you a numerical percentage, which should tell you roughly what your battery uh, degradation is at. And we'll kind of get an idea and go from there. So let's jump in the car. Let's get it plugged in and see how it looks. All right. So we got the Alpha OBD app pulled up and ready to go here. So we get into it and we connect to the Bluetooth OBD dongle. So we're connected to our VPeak. We chose the Fiat 500e 2013 to 2019 model year. We're on battery management and we are going to connect to, and I don't know what the difference is between these battery pack control modules. Um, I've seen people select two which i'm not sure what the difference is if you know what the difference is go ahead and put a comment down below so i can you know maybe uh do another video about this in the future but what we're going to do here is we're going to connect to the vehicle using this here and then once we connect to that we're going to go ahead there we are and hit this little battery in the bottom and read system status now this will give us the status of the vehicle as far as the battery is concerned and the health of the battery and all the information about the battery and we'll find some hopefully very interesting information about this as it loads and we're going to skip over a lot of this stuff because it's just a lot of information and we don't need to go over every little bit of it a couple things we'll point out right away is uh, right here where it says state of charge history. You can see exactly how many minutes the vehicle has sat at which range of state of charge. So for instance, you can see on the very low end, it was at 3,380 minutes, uh, which is not a lot, but you know, it depends on how low. It could have been at 19%, which is okay, but it could have been at 1%, which is not so okay. But either way, minimal time down in the lower end of the battery pack most of it was towards the middle and as you could see the 80 to 100 percent there is actually very high 294 thousand minutes <laughs> of its life have been in the higher end of the pack which is not always great to see but you know that is what it is it shows uh your contactor opening and closing there how many cycles it's gone through uh, if we continue to go down here, we'll see some other interesting things. So we see a minimum maximum status. So we see a max cell voltage is 3908 and the minimum is 3903. Now do keep in mind, I have the car on and I have the AC on because it's about 90 degrees in my garage. So I am pulling some from the battery. So um, this is not going to be 100% accurate, but just for uh, my sake, 
<laughs> I'm going to keep the car running with the AC running. So some of these numbers might be slightly off because of that, but we want to get just an overall general sense of exactly what we're looking at here. Uh, voltage status, we could see that the uh, voltage, battery voltage at 378.9 volts, which I believe is perfectly fine. And for any of you Fiat 500e enthusiasts out there, if you're watching this video, if you have any more knowledge, throw it down in the comments. I'm sure myself and a lot of other people would love to learn from people who have done this for a very long time. Like I've said, I've only owned this car for multiple months now, so I am very new at this, and this is just more stuff that I want to learn, get into, and just know more about this car, because I am planning on keeping this car for a little bit. We're going to continue to scroll down the list here, and we're going to see some more information here. So, state of charge adjustment current SOC. Now it's showing that it's a 58.43 SOC. Now on the dash, I see 54%. So there must be a small couple percent buffer at the bottom of the pack. Uh, so when you hit zero on the you know gauge in your car, you probably do have a few percent down at the bottom, maybe like a four or five mile buffer. Um, but that looks like that's what I'm reading from that there. Once again, I could be misinterpreting that, but I think that's pretty much what that means. So let's continue to go here and see what else we can in get here. So here we go. So full amp hour capacity is 56.3 amp hour right now it says we're at 32.7 which makes sense because we were at 54 percent state of charge so that makes sense as far as roughly how much is left in the pack currently um, and then here's where the state of health is so it's saying that our state of health is 89 percent that seems pretty good to be honest with you 89 percent most of your battery degradation comes at the beginning of ownership. So when the car is brand new, and let's say you have a 100% uh, battery, most of that degradation will happen in the first 20 to 30,000 miles, and then it starts to slow down the older the vehicle gets. All, obviously there's variables in there like, you know, what was the constant temperature of the car when you were using it? Like, do you charge it, like fast charge it all the time or were you just AC charging it? Obviously keeping it way high in the pack more often than not is also bad for it and low down in the pack is worse for it than in the middle. So there's a lot of variables there. And as we can see, this car sat at the very high end of the pack for quite a bit of its life. And so that could be part of the reason why we are down to about 89% state of health. But you know what? It's still not that bad. So let's just scroll down a little bit, see if there's anything else that uh, we come across that's interesting here. All right, so it looks like I found the cell voltages. So this is the voltage at each individual battery cell in the packs. So this is really, really cool to see. So we can see cell voltages 1 through 12. So 390, 456, oh, there's a 3 in there. So really, really close, like very good. Uh, 13 to 24, those cells looking pretty good. 25 to 36, also looking really good, matching what we're seeing from all the other packs there, uh, the other modules, I should say. 3904, 34567, perfect. 3901, so there's a slight low one there, but it's still in 3900 uh, range there. So that's only got like a five millivolt, you know, separation there. This one's about the same. That one looks to be about the same. That one looks to be about the same. This is really impressive. So really, all the cells in this pack are very close. They're all really, really good. Now, if you saw a cell that was really too high or a cell that was really too low, that would be slightly concerning because that means you might have a failed cell if they were really low. Or if you had a really high one, that means it could be slightly unbalanced in that particular section of the battery pack. So really good to see that those all look really, really good. We bought this car not knowing the life of the car, the battery pack, like we didn't really get a chance to do any of these tests. I think that's that's pretty good. All right, well, that was a very interesting look into this Fiat 500e, just to kind of get a general idea of exactly the health of the battery, was it taken care of, you know, what's just a general idea, the consensus of, you know, how these battery packs hold up. And I got to say, you know, a seven-year-old vehicle, 
um, that looks like it stayed at a relatively high state of charge for majority of its life. And the battery pack looks pretty good. Now driving it on a normal basis, I'm getting what you would typically expect around a hundred miles, give or take, uh, you know, based on air conditioning, air conditioning really zaps it down quite a bit. And I haven't owned this car through a winter either. So I have no idea how the colder temperatures will do with this vehicle either. But overall, I got to say the battery pack from a diagnostic standpoint actually looks pretty good which I'm very thrilled about and I'm really interested. And once again, for all of you out there who are Fiat 500e enthusiasts, and once again, I'm not gonna claim to be an expert on this whatsoever. This is just more of a curiosity video that I wanted to make about the car since I just bought it. Anybody has any more knowledge about this, put down in the comments below, put some extra information down there as much as you can. Um, I've been getting a lot of information from the Fiat 500 forums, which is really, really insightful and helpful to try to learn more about these cars and what you can do with them and just kind of understand them a little bit better. And so that's been a really helpful tool for me. But yeah, this is really cool. So we now own this car for a couple of months. I'm planning on owning it for a long time. And you know what? Now that I see how well this battery is healthy, uh, I got to say that it's um, it's pretty cool to own this car. I'm really happy to. But anyway, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and give it the thumbs up below. And, uh, you know, I'm really looking forward to being a Fiat 500e enthusiast myself in the future. This is going to be really, really cool. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. And remember, welcome to the future, and welcome to tech motoring. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.